This back here is my favorite uh, local Petco. And let's go inside. Usually when I drive by, I like to stop and take a peek. Let's go inside and see what they got and see if I get any ideas for that 300 gallon project, in particular substrate. I'm looking for substrate. Let's see what they've got in stock. First section you hit when you walk in is the aquatic plants. Usually the aquatic plants in these big box stores like your Petco's and PetSmart's are usually a little bit beat up and don't look that great. Uh, you can tell they're trying. I mean, they've got a lot of water circulation, a lot of filtration going, a decent selection, but it's, uh, it's still what I would say average to mediocre with regards to uh, overall plant selection. It does look like there's a lot of room for more. And if you are a PALS reward member, you do get uh, you get a free one for every two you buy, which isn't bad. They had a uh, kind of a sparse selection of uh, of koi and other types of goldfish here. I like the koi. I like the way they look. Certainly, if I had a space that was big enough, I'd consider keeping one. I just think they're uh, very pretty, both in their shape and uh, just the way their fins are, are set up, just very, very nice. They happen to have left the bottom of this setup open. I, I was able to take a peek at the kind of filtration, external pumps, and uh, a big marine land unit that I've never seen before. Obviously, it's a commercial unit filtering these uh, feeder fish. There was also a big bio wheel on there. I like this 40-gallon uh, breeder. This could be a good possibility for a sump tank. Seems a little steep at 109. I think I can probably get it for less if they have one of their uh, semi-annual sales. I could probably pick it up for somewhere between 50 and 75 dollars. Certainly, uh, certainly a 55 gallon or a 75 would give me more, uh, definitely more water volume. At 149 for a 55 does seem that also does seem a little bit steep. So again, I mean, these are tanks that I would wait until they're on sale. Almost $90 for a 50-foot water change system made by Imaginarium. Looks a lot like the Aquion model. Again, that seems a little bit overpriced to me. I think their, uh, their, their prices, I think, have been bumped up a little bit. But as, you, as we go along, you'll see there's a, there's a, a way to work around that. They have a well-stocked frozen uh, food section, blood worms and frozen krill, just a variety of packs. The larger boxes of brine shrimp are $19.99, not these in the front, but the larger yellow boxes in the back that have a lot of, uh, a lot of the little blister packs. This one here was a new one for me, I hadn't seen it before, it's uh, from from Piscine Energetics. I trust those guys. I went ahead and uh, pulled one out and I think I'm going to take it home and see how the fish take to it. It's got a Eureka Red there on the left side so it's probably good for cichlids. I think they're saying on the package here it's good for really all fish. I think I'll give it a shot see how the fish react to it. 14 bucks might be a little steep I don't know for good nutrition, might be worth it. A lot of, uh, definitely a lot of uh, the day-to-day -day kind of things that you would need to keep a tank going. Some shelves uh, were empty and that might be part of what's going on all over the place. I did bump into the uh, substrate section and it seemed a little bit limited. They didn't really have a very wide range of substrate a lot of decor from kind of playful cartoonish type decor over to the more uh, more realistic looking stuff some more empty shelves a little auto feeder there I was surprised to see that uh, that Sarah had a pretty prominent amount of shelf space here at Petco I knew they'd gotten into Petco but I wasn't aware to what degree, and uh, they were definitely well represented in the food section. One of the comments that someone had made under the uh, 
the interview video with Sarah was that ounce for ounce it was a lot more um, a lot more expensive so I decided to go ahead and just take a look and do uh, a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison and I'll show you here in a second what what I came up with as you can see pretty much anything you want 2.8 ounces and here's a um, North American that's a different one here we go the cichlid one 4.7 ounces $14 and that's for the cichlid and of course you get the other lakes too but again 4.7 ounces and we're coming in let's just round it out to 15 bucks so let's just say five ounces for 15 very easy just to round it up and let's compare that here to uh, Here's 1.58 ounces for almost 10 bucks. So that to me seems a bit more expensive. Here's here's the um, here's some New Life Spectrum Optimum Flakes. They've been around for a while, very popular. Thirteen dollars, thirteen dollars for this jar, and you're, you're going to get. 45 grams or 1.6 it's a big container but you're getting 1.6 ounces for $13 so again the uh, the Sarah's a lot less expensive here's some substrate I came across that I was interested in I've used the Imaginarium black sand before and I really liked it uh, but it was definitely a lot less expensive than $22. Usually I pay about um, 50 cents a pound. This is just over a dollar a pound. But I'd like to mix it with uh, maybe something slightly coarse like this together with the fine sand. But even the 20 pound bag of slightly coarse Imaginarium is also coming in at $22. So I'm going to wait for that to go on sale or check the internet and I'll tell you why, um, when you go to Petco, you've got to really look at the internet prices because they can be very, very different than what they have going on on the shelves. Here's some Marineland Emperor Size E filters. There's four of them in here for 22 bucks. 22 bucks for a four pack. Now, I'll tell you something, I just paid $30 and I got four of those boxes on Amazon and because I'm a Prime member it was delivered for free. So I got four boxes from Prime for 30, one box for 22 at the store. So I'll tell you, they're going to have to really, uh, I mean four for just a little bit more than the price of one. And uh, you can see here, $30.77 delivered, all four items. Now, to their credit, if you go on the Internet, you can actually get them for $10 a piece. Now we're getting in the same ballpark. But someone who just run into the store because they need filters is going to be paying a lot more for these than if they had taken the time to check the Internet. Here's some filters. Some filter supplies. These Fluval, do you have you used a Fluval 110? A hundred bucks for a Fluval 110. I think this one on the internet is about maybe you can save ten bucks on it, but still $99 for a um, that Fluval 110. It does have a high rating. I'm not even going to show you the, the prices for their lights. They're they're just ridiculous. Except for maybe the smaller clip-ons. The LEDs are like $80 on up, up to two, $300. Some more Sarah Media. Here's a Fluval, but it's an, it's an FX4. I have the FX6. This Fluval FX4 is listed at $349. Wow. That's more than I paid for the FX6. If you go online, you can pick it up for about $300. 
So you do save some money if you go and uh, and get it online. Again, one of those items that if I wanted to pick one up, I'd probably wait for it to go on sale. Perhaps with my what they call PALS membership, I can get a bigger a bigger discount. But at any rate, if you're in a hurry, let's say you suddenly need a need a, a heater because one of your heaters failed, or you're you're gonna. I mean, 55 bucks for a 300 watt. I mean, I don't know. That that seems kind of average. Not sure about the quality on Aquion heaters. They're probably a lot like Aquatop. These real small nano tanks have just become really popular. Here's a spec. Here's one Fluval. I don't know what is that. Chi Chai Fluval. Eighty dollars. And that's got to be what, maybe five gallons, but it includes lighting and filtration. I'm assuming it's a full kit. But these uh, these small teeny tanks, forty bucks for a 1.6 gallon cube. They call it Betabo One. It looks like that's a gallon. Forty bucks. I'm not sure if it includes a heater, but it's supposed to be fully inclusive. There's the Mini Bow One from Aquion, ideal for a Beta. So if you think a Beta is okay in a one-gallon tank, $99.99. Just call it a hundred bucks. Again, I would check their internet. I would check their uh, web page uh, before I would buy any of these, because they do offer the option to pick up in the store, and sometimes they give you a bigger discount. If you buy it on the uh, internet and then pick it up at the store, especially if you're a PALS member. But as you can see, these small tanks are taking up a lot of shelf space. Very, very popular. There's a 29 gallon full kit for 159. See, it, I, I would almost rather pick that up. And that gives you the flexibility of using it for a beta or something else. Let's take a quick look at the fish. 13 bucks for what they call the assorted roll your dice, probably a hybrid cichlid tank. You'll probably end up with a uh, crazy OB or dragon blood. Those seem to be the ones that are the most common. And of course, Mabuna. They did have a very pretty yellow lab here. I like this guy. Both of them were very pretty. I love the yellow on a yellow lab. If I had a uh, Mabuna tank, a yellow lab would definitely be uh, in there. 11 bucks. I don't know how's that how's how's that price wise. Get some tiger barbs. I was very tempted to pull the trigger on one of these albino Oscars. Very cute. Ten bucks. That's not bad. I tend to stay away from all types of uh, of the tiger barb varieties only because my. My history with them is just that they're very, very nippy and can really kind of, kind of keep the tank mates in a, in a high stress. So I tend to stay away from them. I think these fish are really attractive. Silver dollars, seven bucks. They can get pretty big. I think one of you suggested one time to use one as a dither fish, a fish that would distract aggressive fish. These guys were really going after each other. Good looking fish though. Not sure if the camera does them justice. I'm not really a parrot fish lover, but these two were really cute. I thought they were cute. Their face wasn't quite as mushed up as you normally see. I love the rock that they use to attach this Anubius. And again, something you're seeing always in the range of about $14 to $17. You're seeing these Anubius that are attached to a piece of driftwood or a piece of rock. That was a real pretty, real pretty piece of rock. Some angels, buy two, get one free. Again, if you're a PALS member, pretty good deal if they're 16 each, each pay 32, take home three of them. Again, it's becoming real popular. It looks like these are attached actually to coconut or coconut shells. It's a pretty little better. That's one of the lucky bettas. He gets to live in a tank called a cocoa mat. 
Here's the live bear section. Love those Dalmatian mollies. Some Danios. Zebras are some of my first fish. We're going back like 60 years. Some more live bears. A little gurumi in there. Good looking gurumi. You don't see too many, too many distressed fish in this Petco. Tanks are, are uh, kept relatively clean. I've seen the same lady working here for a couple years now. These are pretty. Gold dust molly, five bucks. Lyre tails. Lyre tails are really, really good looking fish. The way that tail arches. Just a real attractive fish. Zebra danios. That's more of those type, same type of fish. These are teeny, teeny. Maybe a half inch or less. Powder blue dwarf gourami. Where is that guy? There he is. He's in the very back hiding. But it's a pretty gourami. Probably doesn't get too big. Maybe got to clean the front of their tanks. Bet you they'll sell more fish. Look at liar tail platies. Giant Danios. Boy, these guys are really active. I wonder how big they get. It seems like they, they would be a good dither fish. Look how fast they are. It's a blink of an eye. They're in a whole different part of the tank. Albino quarries for five bucks. I think overall, overall these prices are 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 good, but they're not. They're not blowing away, let's say, the aquatic critter or one of my local fish stores, right? They're like in the same ballpark. So if I had to, if I had to pick, I'd probably want to get fish that were comparably priced from the local fish store. Especially if I can get them for around the same price. Because I, I just think that they're going to be a, a little bit more, a little bit healthier. Always love black tetras. These are good looking fish. Little red eyes. Red eye tetras, 279. I think that's about what they're running. Big glowfish display. It's like looking at a rack of candy. I guess you need special lights. We used to call those black lights when I was growing up. Here's the uh, the beta the beta torture chamber. The little cups that they keep the bettas in, and uh, a couple pretty ones in there. They didn't look too distressed. They did have a beautiful uh, half moon betta. Look at this guy. Very, very pretty. Great color. And uh, on sale, $14.99. But if you've got those PALS rewards, you get 20% off. So you take them home for about $11.99. Not bad. Well, the fish prices uh, were pretty average. Some of those uh, smaller fish I can get at the Aquatic Critter for a comparable price. And I trust Aquatic Critter just a little bit more on the quality of the fish. Uh, I was kind of shocked on the price of uh, equipment in that it seems the uh, it seems like what you would pay for an FX6 you now have to pay for a for an FX4 so those prices have really gone up and you know, another one of those uh, inflation things I guess and uh, but that was way overpriced I wouldn't buy those unless they're on sale same thing with the tanks I'll wait for the 50% uh, off sale with my uh, pals membership I get the tanks at half off so maybe pick up a 40 breeder and use it as a sump uh, or maybe something bigger we'll see uh, when, when they go on sale and uh, otherwise uh, what was also surprising to me was the, the side by side comparison of the foods 
uh, it seems like the Cerro foods were actually, in some cases, less expensive per ounce than some of the other ones. And then you figure in that you don't need to feed as much because they're more protein rich and more, uh, more bio availability. So it makes them a better deal. Anyway, that was a walkthrough at my local, local Petco. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to hit that sub button if you haven't already. And hit the bell and the like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. We'll talk about this, uh, creation, fish, inflation, and everything else. Bye-bye.